So the first fact about me is that I actually have an extra toe, an extra toe on each foot. So let me just show you. <laughs> just kidding. Number one, I went to stage school and drama club. My mum sent me there because um, to build up my confidence, me and my sister's confidence because we were both very shy. In drama club though, they always cast me as someone in the crowd, which was whatever. And in um, stage school, I got the leading role in a cowboy film. So that was in a cowboy production, cow cowboy performance more like. So I was like the chief cowboy, it was pretty cool. I read 300 books in primary school. Um, I used to get certificates. I was the reader champion in my primary school. Um, I was just, I always had my head in a book. All right, I don't want to creep anyone out, but like, sometimes I have dreams and I see stuff in the dreams. I'm sure a lot of people do, but the one that sticks out in my head is basically my next door, I was looking for my mum in my house and my sister was like, oh, she's at the next door neighbour, she's at the next door neighbours. And um, then I went to the next door neighbour's house and I knocked on the door and the husband said, you can't come in, she's having a baby, like she's giving birth there on the floor. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll see you guys later. And um, yeah, the next day in real life, my mum told me, she'd come back from the neighbour's house, she's like, oh yeah, blah, 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 she's pregnant. And I was just like, that is so weird. But that's just one of them. But that's the one that I remember. I think I had that when I was like 12. So I hate romantic movies, chick flicks, blah, de blah. Oh. Uh, I love action movies and comedy, movies, action more than comedy, but my favourite film so far I think has to be Due Date, because um, I've watched that about five times, or anything with Jackie Chan in it. Next one, I wear glasses, a lot of people don't actually know that I wear glasses. I, my eyes were fine when I was born or whatever, and then suddenly at a Nigerian party, I don't know, I think I was about six. I put on this girl's glasses and then after that, um, well, we were at church the following Sunday and I tried to read where they put the numbers for the hymns and I couldn't read it. Well, it was kind of blurry for me. So I went to get my eyes tested and from there I've been wearing glasses since then. And then I got contact lenses in year nine and I thought I was so cool. Okay, next one. So I had a tag name, which some people might not be familiar with. I don't know, you know, like how some people have that on their names like, Young London and you know, Little Mix or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and mine was Black Crystal, not black as in black, black as in B L A K, and I did it all in uppercase, lowercase, and I spelt crystal as in crystal. Like, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. And I had that on my tag name, like my name on my MSN thing, and I thought I was so cool. And I used to type really like I tried to because everyone used to call me posh. Um, they still do and so I was just trying to like fit in in like um, with some of my like black friends and you know and my cousins you know just typing really like East London and stuff and it was when I look back at it I'm like what language am I speaking I actually okay so this was back in primary school again and it was Valentine's Day and or Valentine around Valentine's time and everyone's like oh right and I didn't even understand what it was about really and everyone was like oh I'm gonna get a Valentine's card and I was like okay um yeah so I wrote one for a boy um I just like happy Valentine's Day uh love EJ or whatever and you like loads of hearts and stuff I really I, I don't even know what I was doing and um yeah, I gave it to him at break time and he looked at me, he read it, looked at me again and he just ripped it up into like 10 million pieces and then my friend, one of my friends, or my si one of my sisters from one of Chaco's friends was there and she just picked it up and just like, ah, throwing it like confetti. One time when I was a baby, I was, um, I actually got rescued by the firefighters when I was about three because there was um, a girl that used to come over to my house a lot. Um, if she's watching, hi, I think she knows who she is. And um, yeah, basically I locked her in the room, me and her in the room, and I was poking the, the crap out of, her belly, uh, out of her belly button. She had a bit of a puffy belly button and I was so fascinated by it at the age two slash three. I was just poking the hell out of it. And uh, my mum was like, open the door, EJ, open the door. And uh, I was just like, get lost, like, <laughs> I'm fun. I hate super malt so much. Yeah, I used to really hate maths, but um, 
But then I had a tutor and he made me love maths again. I know that sounds really sad, but I really, I, I love maths. I'm very curious. I'm a very curious person. Like, ooh, what will happen if I do this? But like, I'm not like, I'm not stupid with it. Like, I'm not going to go freaking walking off a cliff or anything. Like, ooh, will I die? No. But yeah, yeah, okay, I've got one. Like, I had cornflakes and I had toast. And I was like, what happens if I eat them both together? And, um, I, uh, I ate it together. Oh, my favourite one was probably cornflakes and ice cream. Because that was just tasty as hell. I haven't had it since I was in year six. Uh, yeah, that's when I used to eat it a lot. Like, vanilla ice cream, cornflakes on top. So, basically, my fingers, my fingers can't close flat. And it really bugs some people. So, I go like this, look. They can't, they can't close flat, like, um, no matter how much I try, that's probably as flat as I can get it, and it's really hurting me doing like that. I'm very scared to have girls, you know, baby, baby girls, when I get to that, that stage of my life. Like, I'm, I'm kind of scared to have girls, because, like, I'm scared that the media is going to freaking brainwash them to become either sluts or just YOLO children. And I, I really, I can't be dealing with that, like, seriously. I get very defensive when when I hear other black people like really putting down other black people or other African or Nigerian they get very defensive with <laughs> when people take the wick out Nigerians like um okay it's fine if you're having a ha-ha but when they're like getting all serious about it or like oh god I can't stand Nigerians I don't know I'm like, well, f you then so when I was in activity world basically like um, yeah, everyone knows what acti Activity World is. Basically, like for kids and stuff, you go there, like the ball pit and stuff like that. And um, there was this thing called, I think it's called like the spider web or it's something like that. And basically, you bounce on these elasticated bands. Imagine an elastic, long elastic bands, and it's just like a big square and it's all like cross hatched, etc. And you bounce on those and you bounce so hard that you go down to the other level, so it's all in different levels. And I was bouncing, bouncing, going down, down to the bottom. That was so fun, by the way. And and um, yeah, my ponytail that I was wearing at the time came off. Like I was like, well, where's my hair? And I looked up and my ponytail was at the top on the upper level. And uh, all like the white kids were just looking at me like, yeah, dude, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've sliced my finger before. Um, I've got a scar. Well, you can't really see it, it kind of blends in. But um, yeah, it's like a scar on my thumbs. I was um, slicing an orange and I was just slicing into it, just <laughs> minding my business. And then I was like, hasn't this thing finished slicing yet? And uh, I looked down and I was slicing into my thumb. I, I didn't feel anything. I, I could see the, the, like all the muscles and stuff and it was just really just, it was gross to look at. And um, I didn't actually look at it properly until I got upstairs. My mum was freaking out because I was like blood everywhere and then I looked at it and I was just like Ooh. um but yeah I got like stitches on it butterfly stitches the ones that they just stick on your finger and stuff and then it healed up and it's fine now oh yeah speaking of like hospital and stitches and stuff I had surgery when I was three because I couldn't actually breathe out of my nose I used to breathe out of my mouth oh I, I can't really swim I can swim kind of in deep water for about three seconds and then I just can't swim again. Yeah, so I had a disc book in year six, I think. And I also had a lyric book where I wrote lyrics for different songs. And I also um, had these, you know, toxic wastes. I'm not sure if you can get it overseas, but um, in England, everyone should know what toxic wastes are. They're just very, very, very sour um, sweets. And they got, I think they got like a sherbet center. And I used to sell all of them at school. Um, I think about 20p each. I was a right little hustler and that is the Igbo in me. I, I'm not sure if you're actually allowed to do that in school, but that's what I did. So. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I can get quite pernickety about spelling. The way I see it, if I correct you, it's me trying to help you. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Like, I'm not trying to be a smart ass or anything, but, you know, just trying to, you know, give you a push in the, in the right direction. What I've noticed recently is people saying like missing out instead of saying an they say a uh. like for example I'm going to give you an example a, a example like it's an no, anyway let me just not get into that this will be a very long video um 
Another one, I like to plan ahead. So if I'm going somewhere, I will go onto Google Maps, I will write down, you know, do a left turn here, left turn there, you'll see this, that, I plan like no man's business. Um, Cause like, I don't wanna, I'm scared of getting lost. I really, I hate, you know them soppy quotes uh, that you see like all over Instagram and Facebook, like, oh, I'm, I'm so shy, no one gets the time to know the real me. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, it's just, <sighs> I, I really can't stand that stuff, I hate soppy, soppy stuff like that. Um, like, my, the worst quote, I think, on this planet has to be this one. I'm impatient, I'm impatient, I get the no no no, little insecure, but if you if but if you can't handle me at my worst then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Oh my god, if you know how many times people have reposted that quote and recycled it, it's so annoying. Yeah, I used to run um, 100 meters in primary school in year six. My best time was 12.6, and people don't believe me when I say that, but I was freaking fast. I don't, a lot of you guys, if you watch my uni vlog video, you'll know this already. I'm not actually a clubber, I don't go clubbing. If it's for somebody's birthday, then fair enough then I'll try and shift some stuff around and come to your birthday if it's for that. But like, I would never go out of my way, like say, oh, okay, next Friday, let's just go clubbing for the hell of it. I mean, I'm not, I don't know, I just, I don't like clubbing in general. I am obsessed with Nigerian music. I am obsessed with Congolese music, just African music. I just, I love it. I love African music. I think it's beautiful and it's got the best beats and it's just freaking amazing. So.